Hello everybody and welcome to Parks Bros. It is Drew here. We just found out what Six Flags Magic Mountain is getting in 2019 and it's pretty exciting. It is going to be called West Coast Racers. It's been designed supposedly by the West Coast Customs team and it looks amazing. But let's go into depth on what this coaster is going to do through this analysis. So the first thing we see in this video, the entire area of Cyclone Bay has been done up to look like a street and it looks beautiful. Um, a lot more straight and not as curvy, which is totally okay, but it definitely looks a lot better than it used to. And also I noticed one thing too, the station and the gift shop and the line itself are gonna be pretty small in all honesty, um, a lot smaller than I was expecting especially the queue. So it, it makes me feel like this is going to have a great ridership per hour. At least we hope so. Now let's go to the ride itself. It is a Mobius loop launching coaster. Um, it looks like you start out on the white side um, as this train does right here. You launch into a high five type of element um, that looks pretty nice. You turn and then the white side does a little outer bank turn into a top gun stall really uh it'll say a zero g stall but that's really a top gun stall with the train below you um and then airtime hills going down into a second launch and then dueling corkscrews which is pretty amazing you have this left bank turn into a helix and then more right bank turns and then the white track will go underneath a corkscrew and turn right into the station area where it will hit the brakes but then it starts to race on the yellow side and you will have the switch with it being a Mobius loop. Also, one thing I wanted to point out right here is the fact that the trains have over the shoulder restraints. At least it looks like it, but uh, apparently I'm hearing that it is going to be a lap bar. So let's hope so. But it is made by Premier Ride, so it will be the same restraint as full throttle most likely, but the front of the trains are actually themed this time and they look really nice they look like Ferraris so anyways let's let's go on to the next launch where you are racing again you hit the high five element on the yellow side this time into kind of an airtime hill underneath the stall into another airtime hill after turning right another launch which is the third launch of this or actually the fourth launch of this coaster into the corkscrews then you bank into a left helix again and then to the right helix again. And then a little airtime pop and then another corkscrew slash zero G roll. And then you hit the brakes. I am so unbelievably excited for this coaster. It's the world's first quadruple launch twin lap racing coaster. Uh, six flags for you, what you gonna do? Um, but this thing looks incredible. Now, I don't know if I would say it's number one in the park but I would say it fits in the top three. If it is good, which it looks like it will be, especially since it's by Premier Rides, that it will be a top three in the park. I am so unbelievably excited. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have construction updates like crazy. Now that we actually know the layout, we will be able to figure out what markers mean what and really give an in-depth look at what is being built at the time of the construction update. And I am over the moon right now. It looks amazing. I'm really excited. I'm definitely thinking it could be a top three in the park. I don't think it'll be number one, but it might be a close second uh, at this point. Uh, I'm super, super excited though for next year. This definitely looks like the best addition to a Six Flags park in probably the past three or four years to be completely honest. I mean, I love what Max Force does, but it's really short where this just keeps on going. The only concern I have about this ride is the capacity and also the loading and unloading process since the Mobius loop goes right next to the station. Uh, it does it, is it like a tunnel that is the exit or does it exit on the same side? Which I think it does because the gift shop is on that side. So, but we will have to wait and see. Um, I can't wait to get on this thing. I can't wait for CoasterCon next year to hopefully be riding it and um, Man, Magic Mountain, well done. Well done. But uh, if you like this analysis, I, I, I mean, it wasn't really an, an analysis per se, but it was just going through all the elements of the coaster. But I definitely think my favorite part of the ride is probably going to be the stall, if not the dueling corkscrews. And I just really can't wait 
to see this coaster opened up and ready to go and rev its engines for next year. Man, that was cheesy. Anyways, if you like this video, give it a like. If you disliked it, give it a dislike. Subscribe if you haven't, if you want to see all the updates with this coaster. And of course, as always, we'll see you on the next ride.